Hey guys, what's happening? So, it's time to upgrade my software to Holly EFI version 6. So if you're not familiar with this truck, it's a 1966 Bronco. Had it for over 20 years, and I've actually had this, uh, well, originally it was a Holly uh, term or, yeah, Terminator um, with a throttle body, and then uh, I just basically took it off and converted it to a multi-port uh, fuel injection. But yeah, the Terminator ECU is the HP ECU, if you're not familiar with that, but... Alright, so yeah, this originally had version 2 software on it, and I want to upgrade it to version 6. What you see in front of you is a Windows tablet that I use uh, to control the hallway, but I also have the 3.5 inch touch screen right here. Um, so I already have the software, version 6 of the firmware of the thing. So we'll update that first, and then uh, I'm going to log into my Windows tablet, and we'll look at that and get up to upgrade to version 6. I'm new to this channel, this is the engine. It's a 351 Windsor uh, roller cam F4TE roller block with the Adelbrock Performer RPM2. And then I have uh, LS2 injectors in there. I have a MSD distributor, MSD box. I um, guess you really can't see the injectors, but. Alright, yeah, this thing actually hauls ass. Alright, before you start the upgrade process, make sure your battery is synced to a battery charger. Yeah, so the worst thing you do is if you uh, I think if the thing fails halfway through the uh, the firm upgrade, you could break this uh, the ECU. You could destroy the ECU. The radio. Alright, so actually it's updating my uh, 3.5 inch screen here. And I'll go back and I'm, I can actually either upgrade the software on this device or the Windows tablet. So either or it's fine. I kind of prefer the Windows tablet, but I need to also need to upgrade my version 5 to version 6 here, so do that right now. I'm about to see that, but uh, my screen's a little bit cloudy because it's kind of in this holiday long, but it says I need to upgrade the firmware. So one of the things I usually do is I keep a backup copy of the firmware and a backup of the uh, tune on this device, and I also do it on this device, so in case I can't, if either of these break, I actually have a backup. In case I'm, I'm off-roading somewhere and there's some kind of problem with the firmware, so I've actually had corrupted firmware before, so it's, that's why I keep double backups. Alright, before I even install version 6, I'm going to back up my um, HP here in version 5, in case I can't get back to this, or I can't back up the software, so they might at least have the latest uh, tune configuration on there. File, and save as. I usually give the date. I can't do that with the camera in my hand. I have to use on the tablet. I'm going to download the complete file set. All right, so I'm downloading the uh, file set here. But if you wanted to actually upgrade it on your handheld, you could just go ECU firmware, click on that, and then you could choose down the firmware. So as you can see, I have version six right there. So those are all the different versions, starting going up to I think three or two. I can't remember. Um, that's pretty basic, but I want to do it on my uh, tablet here. I'll show you that. All right, so my internet's gone super slow. So on this tablet, I actually created a, a USB thing here. My keyboard back in. A wireless keyboard. All right, installing the software. This thing is not exactly the fastest uh, tablet, but I also use it for uh, GPS and camera, so I can film the trails and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna launch version six. I'm also keeping version five on there. I'm gonna give me a hit, but um, in case I gotta roll back, so. All right, just fire up version six here, and download it from the ECU. And yes, minimum version. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could do this in LPS Studio. All right, so I gotta upgrade the firmware. Yeah, it doesn't like anything. For da -da. Okay, that's version six. It's actually normally in my documents by default and under holy, and then uh, that's six one. Yes, it's gonna take a while. This could take up to like 15 20 minutes, so that's why you actually need to keep your uh, battery on a battery charger. Actually, that took more like 30 minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to close this out, reopen it. Actually, I need to shut it off first. 
hopefully I'm not going to get a warning. But I shouldn't, when you erase your firmware, you basically erase your configuration too. So right now there shouldn't be any configuration on this thing. Alright, so open up version 6 again, and we download from the ECU. So when you flash the firmware, it erases all the configurations on the, on the device. So I need to, uh, I don't need to, I'm not going to open it, because if I open it, it's going to be a version 4 file. But I want to use import global file. And because I saved it in, let's see, I'll go back up. It's actually under documents. Holly uh, version 5 and then under uh, called? files and the one I just created was this 1120 yes 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 so I'm basically upgrading the file from version 5 to version 6 Select all these things. Because I don't know, I mean, I did a lot of different configuration. I don't want to go through and try to figure out what I did. All right. Come back. Uh, send it to the ECU. Actually, I gotta go back here like this. Okay, I want to send ECU. Okay, so now I have a configuration file, but the car still won't start just because it, I need to auto set the. Uh, I gotta reset this. All right, so now I gotta do a throttle position sensor input. So you can do it from here under the uh, wizards, you know, right here, or I can do it from here on the. Uh, Software here under yes start slowly press it in twice done all right cool and I'm actually gonna go on the fuel table the learn table. And I'm going to copy this, transfer to this learn table, and I'm also going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to save this as a version 6 file. So the same file date, but the 6. So I know this is version 6. At least it's been updated. Yes, got some weird IO mappings. All right, let's turn this back off. Now I can hear my fuel pump going. There it is. Alright, pretty cool. I've done this actually uh, since version 2 of the software, so I've done this quite a few times. I'm kind of familiar with it. Alright guys, cool. Hope this helps somebody and any questions let me know. Alright, awesome.